Welcome to a short video about Power BI goals. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can use Power BI goals to connect to other data in Power BI. And in my scenario, I'm going to use a PMO targets for those interested in project portfolio management, but of course it could be anything. Also worth mentioning is that Power BI goals is now free to use in your own workspaces, your private workspace, and it works also with Power BI Pro. It used to be just a Power BI premium feature. So to kick it off, first of all, um, we are right now inside Power BI, where we have something called goals on the left-hand side. Here you can go in and create brand new scorecards where you place your goals or take, like in my scenario, this one, which is already created. And as you can see, you can create a hierarchy of goals uh, in which you can then expand and roll up data. What you see here is, in my scenario at least, uh, some PMO targets, so not the typical objectives or key results to track, but in this case, tracking that you want no more than 30 projects in the run portfolio and 15 projects in the transform portfolio. You can also see the current value right now being for 24 or 19. So what is cool about Power BI goals is that rather than going in manually and creating a new check-in, meaning that you go in manually and add in your numbers, you can in this case go in and connect it straight through to um, another Power BI report that has the data. So real data driven. Uh, to show you that quickly, uh, let me go in and uh, hit edit here and create a new sub goal for this one. So a new add sub goal. And let's call it a max five projects uh, in red status. Then you have an owner for tracking this sub goal and you can have what is called current values and target values. Of course, you could just write in that the current value is maybe eight and the target is five. Or you could go in and say, I want this number to come from data. So real data-driven tracking of goals. So clicking on this one loads up an, an overview of all the different reports within the same workplace as where your goals are. I can then take this one, which is my scenario or example data, where you have a variety of reports as an example. I go into this one where I know I have my red KPIs up here for all projects that are in red. gives me a score of 12. So if you click here, for instance, it will pull the 911K in ETC. If you click that one, it will pull the 12 being projects in red right now, so account. Once you've selected your data, you simply click connect. And you then have the current value automatically updated from another Power BI data source. So real data driven. Then you have the target. You can write that manually. That could also come from another report or set of data. I'm just going to write five. And then you can set up rules so that in this case probably it doesn't make sense to be overdue or completed. It's a different way of statusing, but you can change these to your labels and coloring and also win uh, to sort of uh, showcase a red or green or yellow indicator. You can define a start and end date. Let me just go down here to something like end of November. And then you can hit save. The other thing which is important to know is that, let me just go back to the edit mode is that the rules part here also is where you can define, since it's connected to data right now, that you want data to be automatically updated. So there are things you can do here. First of all, you have the details area. That's where you can do manual check-ins. You have history of all the check-ins that has happened. Status rules, where you can define these rules I explained before. And then finally, the settings area, which is where you define the frequency. So here you can say that you want the system to pull an update every week, every month, every day, the current numbers. And uh, you could also force a refresh right now to happen if you wanted to, but end of day, just simply clicking track, and that would automatically now go in and update your numbers every single day without doing anything as an end user. The manual approach to this is to click new goals again. Let me just do it quickly. Manual test where you go in and say the current value of something is 10, the target is 50. You hit save, and then any user could go in and click here and manually do a check-in, state a date, say what is the current number, maybe that's 15. Also manually define if you're on track or not, and hit save. And then based on that, you get your current score and performance and progress and so on. So this is how you sort of work uh, in a nutshell with the Power BI goals and also connected to data. The other aspect to this is that once you go into your Teams channels or any team, you can then also use these from within here. You can see already now the Max5 projects in red have been added. 
So whatever you want to do with these sort of goal settings or dashboards, you can do from within Teams. Uh, and to find this one, it's worth mentioning that when you go here and add Power BI, make sure you, you browse for the appropriate uh, Power BI uh, workspace, of course, and then they will be shown as reports. Um, so just when you want to find it, search for the report that has this name and add it in. But even though it's a report, it will show up like a dashboard right now. So that was the quick intro to how you can use uh, Power BI reports and data and uh, Power BI goals that are now available for also pro and even uh, no licensed users in Power BI. Uh, and in my scenario, of course, make sure that we can have some targets for tracking the health of our project portfolio uh, here in uh, Power PPM.